chills, they're multiplying, and I'm losing control. Hello everybody, Joe Vosco here from 10 Billion States. In this special episode, I'm going to be talking. I'm just going to be talking. Okay, now you'll know if you've uh, ever seen my um, my work before. Uh, what I like to do, I um, collect data uh, on all of us working in the freedom movement because I'm not afraid of uh, <laughs> spyware. I'm not afraid of shills. I'm not afraid of uh, whatever. Much of that kind of crap. I mean, I believe in safety in numbers when it comes to um, the protest movement and uh, everything we're doing here. Um, it's just better when you're connected. And so I've got a kind of connection map here, which I use to kind of keep up with who's talking to who and uh, just where all of the uh, lines of connections are between us. So when I watch your videos, I pick up on the cues, who you like to plug, who you mentioned you talk to, who you're being interviewed with, things like that. And I kind of get it all down here. Now, there's no way this is good information. It's not reliable. It's certainly not complete. Can can ever be um with one person doing it and i'm way down in plymouth corner of the country and and i know there's uh, much better sources around if you look at a few of these few of these guys here um they do they do great work in um in coordinating uh in um disseminating information um in keeping us connected and uh you know this is uh <laughs> yeah this is a largely inaccurate attempt to just kind of give everybody an overview of uh you know where the leadership comes from and uh you know where you can uh, find a way to give somebody a little bit of help if they're uh if they don't know you and they should you know um there's also the duplication thing we've got to be much more responsive we've been hit by four massive distractions um but necessities in the last few months digital ids the um the ules thing uh everything's going on with 15 minute cities there's council elections coming up and everybody's trying to encourage us to run there's a lot going on down here in devon concerning that and <laughs> I hate to use the phrase in that way, but this is another rabbit hole. I mean, I've been reading huh, thousands of pages of um, official council documents over the last fortnight. What I want to be doing is starting five businesses. Um, and that was pretty much where I was before this happened. But you've got to do it. You've got to get it out of the way. Um, the one more word about, about the magazine, if I can find it. Somewhere. Okay, so um, pick up Concat Magazine, it's still free. We're on issue seven. Um, yeah, well, free to, free to download and distribute. If you wanna sell it, you're welcome to. If you wanna suggest organize me to list, please do. Uh, please do, don't be shy. Um, like I say, this, this magazine is definitely not the best thing out there for um, information, but it does have, several hundred and it's cut into sections and it's easy to read where to find more information straight to the site uh i would and i should have um managed to get an online version of this going had a few problems retaining people interested in the project uh who have the technical capability to get this online um i'm still envisioning envisioning this village and a village would be, well, it brings us even closer. Because, of course, what I'm aiming for is uh, this this map here to be complete, to be completely shapeless. We should all, in fact, know each other. Um, does this look like good connectivity to you with all of these guys? I mean, I'm sure they do know other people. <laughs> Half of them probably live, well, <laughs> a couple of them probably live a lot closer to me than I know, you know. But it's just a case of... Um, people communicating a bit more. Is it dangerous to uh, put information like this out? Well, potentially, but we're infiltrated anyway. 
you know there isn't one of these um huge uh nexuses plexuses sorry of information who won't have somebody very close to them who is uh, fully committed to derailing their process, leading them in the wrong path, uh, possibly even um, somebody who can later embarrass them. Uh, <laughs> I'm a prime candidate for of that. And uh, yeah, but I'm pretty open about the fact that I was well into the WEF back along, going back in the noughties. Um, I was even a teacher of uh, young leaders in Cambridge for a few weeks. So you know, I've been down with a revolution, but the revolution's a traitor. The revolution was clearly always a traitor. And uh, yeah, I missed that. But there's yeah, there's honest mistakes and there's being in it from the beginning, being in it for the reasons of um, whatever reasons they have for wanting a complete monopoly on world power. I mean, <laughs> you've got to be a psychopath. You have to be a psychopath. Or you've got a, such a low opinion about other people, you've never really met them. I mean, you know, this is always the big question, isn't it? Why? Why do these people want a world run this way? And I've never been able to fully answer it. There is, of course, a, a, a more obvious candidate, and that's a sentient AI. Uh, it would suit an artificial life form to lock us all down, uh, gives you data consistency. It gives you data efficiency. Um, if you if you reduce the amount of human activity down, you simplify the internet, you destroy most of the content, and you double down on uh, qualified data, uh, asking specific questions. Then you massively increase your efficiency, and all of them are not well naturally inclined to do that because that's basically. Um, what what power is if you're an artificial life form is compression is reducing that data down so the data works is reducing um information now if you studied information theory it's a great way of understanding human intelligence and artificial intelligence and programming strategy um you reduce the information information is a specific thing here it's the unexpected so you know, you walk into your house, you turn the key, you put the light on, you do or don't trip over a wire, you know? <laughs> you barely remember coming home um, sometimes because the details are just completely regular. It's it's a flat line of information. There's nothing there. It's all routine. You don't fire up your higher functions at all. So, I mean, this is the... Um, <laughs> this is why... Uh, Artificial intelligence is one potential theory for what's going on, because I cannot buy the psychopath theory and I cannot buy the perverted theory. There aren't cannibals running the world. There aren't paedophiles running the world. <laughs> not not with this degree of expertise. Uh, it takes clearer thinking and come on, man, <laughs> you know what I mean? Psychopaths? Well, maybe. Perverts? No, I don't think so. What's worth mentioning, though, is that the dementedness of, um, you know, shill, shill practices in general uh, can't be for nothing. There's got to be something these people genuinely believe. Take the cancel case, for example. Can you honestly believe they're all corrupt? Of course you can. The, the thinking is that... Uh, most of them are what they call useful idiots. They're uh, people who believe they can help out the uh, people in their wards or in their constituency and they're trying their best. And some of them are probably pretty high functioning. I mean, it's a very seductive idea, isn't it? Once you understand a little bit how it works, uh, you could go in, you could try the Delphi technique yourself. You could, you know, <laughs> we're all taking the bait because it's very attractive bait. What I'm thinking, though, is we're on a treadmill and we know we are. We know we're being led issue by issue um, in the same way that we were first alerted to, you know, just more or less everybody uh, being led by the main media by, by crisis after crisis. So if we know that we're 
um, being led through these issues. And they're going to come in one after another. And they've been predicted. And if we know that in the same way that being, we're being herded into cities, um, we're, we're, we're forced to finally uh, follow these influencers. And those influencers are not reliable um, for any number of reasons. Um, have you met them face to face? OK. How hard do you think it is for somebody with a million followers to remember every conversation they've had? <laughs> I barely talk to anybody. I have trouble keeping up with my own data data. I have trouble even with copious notes remembering conversations I had a fortnight ago. You know, if you're in a position where probably the most part our uh, communication is electrical now, is digital, a hell of a lot of data is going missing, a hell of a lot of data is getting rewritten, a hell of a lot of data is getting delayed so that it comes in in the right order because, you know, if you read 20 emails, <laughs> The impact of number 17 that was saying the same thing as number two isn't going to be the same. It makes a difference which order you get them. Something contradicting something else, well, maybe it's going to take you, you know, 45 minutes, an hour and a half to read your inbox. Um, you're going to be tired during that. Maybe it's the beginning, maybe it's the end. The AI knows that. Subtle little differences, a missing mail, um, a late mail, the order of your mail. These can all influence uh, your day, your next move, whether you end up on this protest or you end up in this meeting or you end up publishing that thing or you end up um, getting your mail shoot done. You know, do you send out 30 emails this week or do you wait till next week? Do you um, write a personal message to everybody that you're writing to or do you just send that generic one? And all of these these factors gradually being determined um, on scale, on scale, and they're setting the agenda. So what you have is a situation whereby over the next six months, you may know you're going to face six big issues and all of them are going to waste your time. But at the end of it, will any of your plans have actually come off? I mean, what we should be and where we should be by now is we should have taken this data, we should have completed it, we should have corrected it, we should have made sure we've not duplicated each other's work. Um, everybody is effective to the maximum that they can be. There is an open line that people can move from these organizations. We should all know each other by now. There should be, you know, a thousand people that everybody trusts. Um, you should not be waiting for more than two or three days for that move you're going to make to another town, to another job. And more of us, I mean, none of us, none of us by now should be working for a company which doesn't 100 percent back the freedom movement and completely reject the monopoly, the global monopoly. And we should be in that situation a year ago and we're not now and we do need to sort it out. So I am asking for help. Somebody take over this project, run it with me, let me complete the data set, let me build the companies I want to build. And there's only five of them. Um, it's in a recruitment, uh, not much to it. It's a recruitment agent for the, uh, for the freedom movement. I don't care where it's run, I don't care who runs it. Um, I'm not really that bothered about policy, but we need one, um, you know? Okay, so it's a Judas Priest uh, reference there. I know you're not in my revolution, but I, <laughs> I am. <laughs> but you can call it what you want, just let's have one. God, am I lost? Wacky Wealth Warehouse. Again, crappy title, um, but we do need currencies, you know? Choose the currency you want. Uh, you wanna you wanna trade it. Uh, what you paying? What you'll take? Uh, do you have haulage? Do you have goods? <coughs> so I'm trying to build a bank based on. Um, <coughs> I'm trying to build a commercial bank based on transport. Now, when I was out in China, uh, I know I know I don't know anything about the history of banking here, and uh, to go back. So what, what what's going on in China? What I see is they've got banks for everything. They've got an agriculture bank. Um, they've got a, what they got a, I can't remember. 
Um, yeah, oh God, there are about six banks that just with surprising titles because they build um, they build a bank for what they needed, and they run a bank according to what's needed. And now we can do the same thing. Now we've got to get into a situation where we're producers and we're sellers. We need uh, to have our own industries. Now I'm talking about some service industries which can um, which can kickstart us and uh, serve the rest. So I mean, there's an order at which we can do things. We start off with say Conca, um, things like that, which spread the word about each other. You know, use ourselves as a resource. We move up to transport, haulage, storage, storage. Sorry. Um, a B and B, <clears throat> and uh, you know what I mean. These are the these are the basics. Basics. What we really need, of course, in the end, is industry, and for that, you're going to need storage. You're going to need lands. You're going to need um, you're going to need the haulage in place already because you don't want to be paying for that and trying to compete with people who have already got their supply lines you know, established and run the whole damn world in the most streamlined way you can imagine. See, the idea of this bank is, I mean, it's subtle, to be honest, and I should talk more about it. We can pay, um, we can pay credit. We can pay out on things that are on the road. We can pay out on things that are in production because we're basing everything on the haulage. Now, the haulage is kind of the middle of the, middle of the market. But if we put the power there, then um then basically we have a bank which in which uh we securitize it ourselves uh through commitment because we are committed to expanding now this is the thing we're less than a one percent of population at the moment and we need to take over the entire planet those, those are facts it's do or die thereby there's no limit to the credit we can issue ourselves in theory so if you attach it to uh goods on the road promises things in production, then you can start trading right away. And that's the idea behind that one. But uh, yeah. Okay, so in summary, I guess. What I want for you all is to carry on working in um, perfect, perfect confidence. Um, share everything you've got. Share it as fast and as wide as you can. Use my resource. Use one of the others. <coughs> excuse me, listed in the resource, uh, have a think about who you're connecting with, who you're connecting with, who you could be connecting with, what you can work together on. Try and co-create, try and uh, share the workload and don't worry too much about the details of your business. It's not important when the money's coming. It's not important who the board of directors are. Just get out there and work and think about, think about these other businesses. You know, think about, uh, you know, where we could be, where we should be. And, uh, yeah, don't worry about the invasion. We're, and don't worry about the invasion. We're the invasion.